Okay, so here today, I mean, before I even get into it, I want to say a huge thanks to my sponsor, Laszlo. Without him, this project would have never been brought to light. And with his sponsorship, I was able to get these parts and bring this beast into reality. And so his channel link will be in the description below. And with that said, we're going to get into it. So this is a V8 engine. It's basically my V-twin engine, but instead it has four more segments to make it a V8. It has a flat plane crank. Found that this way works the best. I have two cylinders firing at all times. So I'm just going to put this base plate back on. Um, this thing does rumble. It sounds very good. Uh, sorry if you see any white powder on this machine. Uh, I use lots of super glue in the making of this, and for super glue, I just use baking soda to cure it instantly. You can use water, but I choose to use baking soda. Sorry that this video is crappy quality. It's midnight right now, and I didn't want to whip out the camera and edit a video, so I'm just here using my phone. But anyways, uh, right now, I'm just going to do an idle, show you guys the rumble. And then we're going to turn up the PSI a couple notches. So. So as you could hear, this thing rumbles very nicely. Uh, we were running around... 40 45 psi so let's crank it up to uh how about 75 80 okay 80 psi coming up now we're getting up there and how about a little bit more let's try 90 PSI. 90 PSI is the maximum pressure before these pneumatic hoses pop off. So the reason why you'll hear it, it decreasing in RPM is because I'm losing pressure. This is my tank pressure. This is my tool pressure. And I have a pretty small tank, so it's simply the decrease in RPMs is just because of my tank. Um... But I plan to make a proper video upon this engine as it's a very beautiful engine and it deserves a more well-made, well-edited video. But I just made this tonight and thought I'd share it with you all. So thanks for watching. Please leave a thumbs up. See you later.